Once India built fighters. Now it's building passenger jets. In a landmark deal signed in Moscow, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, and Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, have joined hands to manufacture the SJ-100 civil jet in India, marking the country's first indigenous passenger aircraft program since the Avro HS-748 era. The partnership goes beyond assembly. HAL will co-produce the airframe, localize components and secure certification for Indian skies. A direct step toward establishing India as a sovereign player in commercial aviation manufacturing. With this, HAL moves from, well, being a defense contractor to a civil aviation manufacturer, embedding India into the global passenger aircraft supply chain. HAL's legacy is built on fighters from Sukhois to Tejas. But now, it's bringing that precision engineering to the commercial runway. The SJ-100, a re-engineered version of Russia's superjet, will run on PD-8 engines, replacing its French predecessors and enabling complete local control over propulsion, avionics and maintenance. Think of it as well turning India's airfields into aerospace factories producing jets that can serve both domestic routes and regional carriers across Southeast Asia. From Bengaluru to Bali, this partnership aims to make, well, made in India, a mark of reliability at 35,000 feet. At the core of this alliance lies a very clear ambition. Bring affordable jet class travel to Tier 2 and Tier 3 India. The SJ-100's 100-seater configuration perfectly actually fits India's Uran mission, connecting emerging cities with efficient, low-cost, short-haul flights. Every successful flight will mean fewer subsidies, more connectivity and an expanding ecosystem of regional airports and MRO hubs. India's skies are no longer a monopoly of Airbus and Boeing, not at all. HAL is betting on a future where Indian built jets serve Indian passengers. HAL's strategy mirrors what we've seen with, well, ISRO's SSLB handover, shifting from research and development to industrial scale production. The goal, here it is, make aerospace manufacturing as mainstream as maybe automobile manufacturing. In the coming phase, HAL will localize fuselage sections, wiring harnesses, interiors, and even build engine maintenance and pilot training ecosystems within India. This isn't just about planes. It's actually about creating a civil aerospace supply chain capable of competing globally. India's passenger market is booming, projected to hit 430 million flyers annually by 2030. Yet, nearly all aircraft today are imported. By partnering with UAC, HAL aims to reverse engineer dependency, building indigenous jets for well domestic carriers while exporting to friendly nations in the Indian Ocean Corridor. The SJ-100 could be the template for future 100% Indian-designed regional jets produced under HAL's expanding civil aviation division. This partnership well, also carries geopolitical weight. Why? Because as global aviation shifts towards, well, regional self-reliance, India and Russia's collaboration ensures sovereign aerospace capability outside Western export dependencies. So by developing engines, avionics and materials locally, India safeguards its aviation sector from future supply shocks or sanctions. This isn't just an MOU. It's a blueprint for independent flight in a multipolar world. HAL's partnership with USC also marks a generational shift from assembling fighters to building passenger fleets. If executed well, this could give India its first certified export-ready passenger aircraft line. A new identity in global aviation and, of course, thousands of high-skill jobs in design, testing and production. HAL once powered India's defense skies. Now, it's powering its civil future. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap on front page tonight on AIM Network, India's definitive media organization.
and voice on everything AI and technology. Front page is powered by MachineCon 2025. Yes, it is an invite only residential uh, summit for GCC heads exclusively brought to you by AIM Network. And of course, for right now, we're going to take, well, a short little break on front page. And I am going to say, think AI, and you're going to say, yes, that's right, think AIM. Thank you.